Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again, and it's time to go hard up. Ooh, my voice is crackling. Are you guys ready? I know I sure am. Not a whole lot of stuff, you know, being released out there, especially in the stores lately, as we guys all know, uh, when it comes to physical media. Some of the stores don't even stock their shelves until sometimes days or weeks after the titles are being released these days. So the physical media game is getting kind of weird, getting kind of slim out there. But if you do shop online at boutique, you know, boutique labels, you know what I mean, like Shout Factory or Vinegar Syndrome and stuff, it's on and popping and everything. But movies that are coming out today are The Northmen, which I have really no interest in. I believe that's a universal title. And another one called The Contractor, I think, starring Chris Pine, or some of like the, the main ones that may, we may see in stores today. But since the physical media game is kind of weird uh, out there these days, I'm going to try to hit up, so hit up some thrift stores, see if we can find some goodies in those places, maybe to add to my collection, something I don't, I don't already have that I want, or something I can buy and flip on my eBay store for a profit. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy these videos, hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys missed it, uh, I made two videos at Monster Palooza Horror Convention this weekend. One, me hanging out with uh, you know uh, Master Chaos and uh, his family and stuff like that, meeting Nev Campbell, Jamie Kennedy, you know all this fun stuff. I made a second video going there a second day, hanging out. With Cool Duder for the first time in a while. Uh, that, that was kind of a fun thing. Make sure you guys check out those videos. I also shot a video last night at a comic book store called We Can Be Heroes Comics uh, at a really cool meet and greet event, which the video will be up later on this week, so stay tuned for that. But let's get on out of here. Enough chit chatter. Let's go out there and find some movies. First stop of the day is Salvation Army. Let's head on in. Well, walking on over to the physical media section. They do have a little popcorn maker next to it, uh, over here. Looks like they have a little area of uh, movies, like two rows, and a row of CDs, which I'm not gonna waste my time looking through the CDs or anything. But uh, let's see what they got going on in here. Oh, speaking of Power Rangers, like I said, I shot a video uh, at, a, at an event last night at uh, this comic book store called We Can Be Heroes Comics. I'll have that video up soon. What is this, Final Justice? Uh, don't know don't know what that is, but uh, I'm just going through some of these see what they got one of my favorite Burt Reynolds movies ever cop and a half I always liked that one since I was a kid or t you know a teenager when I came out What is this this one's sealed? Oh Adam Sandler's best of Saturday Night Live they got going on Eastbound and downed Oh wait, wait, wait Animaniacs volume one on DVD Uh-huh. Oh Scratches and fingerprints, it looks like, on, just on top. So I'm not even going to waste my time with that. Usually at thrift stores, when you see kids' titles, there's really no point in messing with them for the most part because they're usually, usually going to be damaged and scratched and things. Oh, this is unique. There's no slip covers, but Kung Fu Season 1 and Season 2 on uh, on DVD. Wait, did they even come with slip covers? Yeah, there's a slip cover to this. That's why cool. you don't normally see these ones that often. But uh, yeah, they're, they're, it's definitely not complete, so... I ain't messing with it, but the Kung, the Kung Fu series was pretty cool back in the day. I mean, not as good as like martial art movies I watched back then, but uh, you know, it was it was cool. Getting out of Salvation Army now. It was just a quick little trip. Didn't come up on anything in there. Well, I'm at my second location of the day, uh, the Second Chance Bargain Thrift Store. The sad thing is, they are closed, but it is Tuesday, and it's only. One o'clock in the afternoon, so let's go to another spot and then swing around back over here, see what they got going on. Well, as I'm waiting for that other thrift store to open, let's head on over to Best Buy and see what they got new release-wise this week. Over here at the new release rack, seeing if uh, you know Best Buy has anything, you know, going on over here. They have the contractor with Chris Pine. This is put out by Paramount Home Entertainment, so it looks like Best Buy has some stuff out. They're usually the ones that are more. Uh, consistent by putting out new releases and stuff. Don't know much about that one at all. Uh, there's this one I don't think I've seen on the shelves before. Ted K, uh, right there. This is what what company is this? D decal. I don't know. This one looks kind of interesting. It's by the cover itself. Uh, Ted K. I, I don't want to say the rest of the name just in case because you know YouTube's kind of strange. The Northman Collector's Edition on Blu-ray. It looks like the 4K sold out at least in this section. 
but I have really have no interest in this and I heard really bad reviews and everything but I'm, when it comes to like period piece movies that's not really my thing anyway but uh, I know some people love that stuff my dad would have probably liked that one uh, right there and of course the Born collection has finally been released on 4K in a collection pack. So OGP, if you're out there, you better hit up your Best Buy, bro. I, I know you. I know you probably want to get up on that thing right there. The the Born ones. I only ever really watched the first one. Never really got into the series, but it is what it is. Let's go check the other other new release rack. See what they got going on over there, if anything. Over here at the other new release rack they got over here. They also have Bridge on the River Kwai. A 4K steelbook over here today. This is not the first time it's been released. It was released in that, um, you know, that Sony big uh, 4K pack that came out, like Volume 2, I think, or Volume 1. Uh, this is cool, though. It's still steelbook form. First time in steelbook form. I kind of like that, kind of like that artwork to that right there. $27.99. And there's another one uh, that came out today, too. It's around the other side. And that's Lawrence of Arabia uh, right there. Uh, the 60th anniversary edition for 31.99 still book edition. I don't think it, I don't think it's it's an exclusive or anything, but that's pretty cool. And OG Pizzle, dude, I didn't know there's a steel book version of uh, the Born collection on a 4K Best Buy exclusive. Uh oh, I think OGP is gonna have a conundrum today uh, if he's out there because I know he loves the Born movies. This one's 64.99. You know what, guys? I was gonna go to Walmart. I changed my mind. Came on over to Target over here in the mall. So let's go see if they put out any of the new releases today. Just as I thought. New release section over here at Target. Kind of uh, how I expect. <laughs> and how I expect to, um, you know, see Walmart if I did go uh, to it. Nothing new. Nothing really different that I'm noticing over here. There is a special store that's in this mall that I'm in right now that I used to love going to. I know it's not as cool as it used to be, but it's right upstairs in this, right upstairs. Let's go over there. The store that's upstairs in the mall right here is F-Y-E. That's a blast from the past. Since I'm in the new area again, we got some cool new places we can hit up. So let's go see what F-Y-E has in store for us today. First thing I see when I walk in here is an advertisement for the new uh, Jurassic World Dominion. Uh, that's coming out later on this week. Kind of excited. I'm going to be seeing it uh, with uh, Master Chaos uh, in a couple of days. But right over here, they have some cool horror uh, action figures and like you know toys and things. What is this Halloween two thing back here? There's like a, a, a paint set. That's kind of that's kind of cool. We got Freddy Krueger over here for a hundred dollars. A talking Chucky. We got the Friday the Thirteenth box set, hundred and fifty nine dollars. Ooh, but they still got it. They're still in stock. A tiki. What is this? A tiki mug of Ghostface? I'm, I'm, I think, I think uh, Master Cast may have this already. But right next to that is some uh, DV Dizzles. The discounted ones for like $6.99 or less. Uh, going on here. Pet Cemetery 2. Uh, the Orphanage. Magic. You know, just some of the, you know, some of the stuff they got going on here. I don't know if they're going to have like new releases or anything. But, you know, just going through some of like the bargain bin. Uh, section right here, Pumpkinhead, one of uh, OGP's uh, favorite horror series, as he said, or stated in his newest live show that he did uh, the other day, the Baba Baba Duke. They also have some like you know cool T-shirts going on in here, but I think there's more more um, more stuff to look at towards the back. So let's go check it out. Fye used to have a lot more movies. Is this that one little section you saw up front right there? This and this little rack over here that kind of you know just goes around in a little. You know, like a little circle or whatever. Nothing too crazy in here. They do have some cool Scream Factory stuff for like for full retail. Uh, you know, In the Mouth of Madness, uh, Urban Legend, you know, things like that. This is kind of cool. You know, some kind of wonderful uh, Blu-ray Steelbook. That is cool. I, I always like some kind of wonderful. That's a, that's a classic one right there. But when it comes to physical media, not a whole big section, but a lot of nerd stuff. A lot of nerd stuff. Kind of glad I hit up Fye since I haven't been to one of those stores in a while. A little bit different, a little bit probably cooler than going to Walmart, seeing empty ass shelves again. But uh, let's swing around to that thrift store that we went to at the beginning of this video and see if they're open. Well, it looks like the thrift store is now opened, so let's head on in and see what they got going on here today. Just got in here, and it's just like you know a typical thrift store, and things with clothes and like you know bags of donations and things, but. Uh, Yuck, 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 yuck. They have a, a thing of movies and games. 
uh, up here. So let's see if we can find anything, you know, worth getting. What is this? 30 for 30, volume 2 on DVD. Let's see if they ha have anything cool up in here. They have Hancock uh, on Blu-ray. Looks like someone autographed it. Not sure who. It could be like the owner of the, of the thing or something. Watches like Charlie Theron or something. And I'm just like putting it right back and, you know, being, being a butthole. But this is cool. This is cool. Oh, see, someone autographed this one too. John, yeah, I think it's just the person that that donated donated them, like you know, put their names on it. I remember back in the day, people used to do that kind of stuff on their video games and things. But just searching through here, seeing if there's anything cool to get, and if there is, <clears throat> I'll definitely show you on my knees now, just like how the Monster Squad likes me. They do have some random stuff in here. Like opposites attract with uh, Barbara Eden uh, in here. I've never seen that in a store before. My eBay app is not working right now, like the internet or something. So I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I may be blind buying some stuff. But Baby of the Bride with a uh, Golden Girl herself, Rue McClanahan. Never seen this before. But uh, who knows? Just digging through some stuff, seeing what I can see over here. Getting out of that thrift store right now. Sad to say, it didn't really have anything I really needed to get up on, or even, you know, sellable on eBay. But it's okay. It is what it is. You don't always find goodies out there in the wild. But uh, let's head on home. I have two packages that got sent in the mail, and uh, let's unbox them. Back home right now, about to open up these two packages. Uh, that I got in the mail right here. Didn't end up buying anything out there in the wild. Nothing really came out that I really needed to get up on or anything. But uh, these two packages are coming from MVD Home Entertainment. So let's open this up and see what they can be. I'm on, I'm on, it feels like I'm on an auto list. I think when it comes to like their, you know, when it comes to reviewers and stuff, they get things to talk about for videos. So you know, I never know what's really going to be coming in here. To be 100% honest with you, so let's take this out. Move that paper. Oh. Okay, the Fabulous Baker Brothers, we got here on uh, Blu-ray. Uh, I think it's the first time it's been released on Blu-ray with the Jeff Bridges, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Bo, Bo Bridges uh, right here on Blu-ray with a slipcover. That one, that one, I don't know if I, I think I've heard about that one back in the 90s or early 2000s. And then there's this one right here, it says 2,000 Days on Earth, starring Nick Cave. Uh, not Nick Cage, but Nick Cave. Uh, never heard of this one before. And it looks like it came out in 20, or was released in 2021, or no, 2014, but on the back here, MVD got the rights to it in 2021, uh, right here, never heard of this uh, film right here, it could, these ones, these ones could be interesting, I just, you know, uh, I know more about this one, because I see, I remember seeing this one, like on the store shelves back in the day, but I don't actually remember seeing it, the actual movie itself, I don't think, but the actors in here, Michelle Pfeiffer, dude, come on bro, Catwoman, the OG Catwoman, but the other, the last package right here is also from MVD. So let's see what this one could be. Blind, let's just close my eye. Open this up, what it could be. It, it could be anything, I'm not gonna lie, it could be anything. Put this down, what is this? Okay, you and Biao, and you uh, and Wa, and Hero. This is a, a martial art film. This is put out by, um, yeah, MVD, and they deal with 88 films. Uh, right there, this is cool, man. A, a Corey Yen, a Corey Yen flick right there. Of course, Yuen Biao does, did a lot of movies with Jackie Chan and Samuel Hung and everything. And I don't know if I've ever seen Hero before. Like I know Hero with the, the Jet Li movie, but like with the one with Yuen Biao in it, I don't know if I've ever seen this one before. But I'm definitely gonna give this one a watch and talk about it in a, a upcoming video whenever I get a chance. Whenever I get around to watching it, I'm gonna talk about it at the end of one of my hoarding up videos or like a you know, a review video and stuff, but you know me and my martial art flicks. Love that stuff right there. But that's all I have to show and talk to you guys about today uh, for this video. Got some screeners in the mail from uh, MVD Home Entertainment. Went to a couple of stores, you know, see what they got going on. Catch your knuckleheads on the next one, which is uh, a really cool meet and greet uh, video I did with a, a certain actor. So uh, stay tuned for that video coming up Thursday or Friday. I Keep in mind I shot it on Monday or yesterday or whatever. But uh, give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys on the next one.